kind of a story could take place on an island. It's quite a location for, you know, it could be a love story, it could be a murder mystery. I think that's a matter of imagination, but I mean, I come here now during the summer, so I guess it would be, a, could be a, a love story happening during the summer. Or a comedy, because uh, uh, I'm saying that because we don't get enough comedies here, I don't think. Uh, not in the film section or in the films classes, not in the series classes. So if you have a good comedy, please come to a Greek island. I think would be interesting to see on a Greek island would be like a film noir. Uh, some sort of really uh, old-fashioned detective thriller, but set on a Greek island. On an island. Uh, islands are blue, are uh, isolated, I have sea, so love stories, identity stories, and gated community stories would be perfect in Greek islands. Like our happy stories in a way, or, or stories that give you some sort of positive mood because it's somehow it's already in the in the nature, it's already in the in the in the soil of the Greek islands, so to say, to have some sort of positive outlook and uh, yeah. But it also has a lot of nostalgia as well. It could be something about the holidays if it was told from me because I'm not from here. But it could be also about the people and who live in these places. And the fact that they are really small, they are communi communities, they are like a family somehow, I think that uh, something really interesting <laughs> could come out. The story of a frustrated young screenwriter who comes to Nisiros and falls in love with a fisherman or a miner from Yale, and the screenplay is all of a sudden written. The Greek island and this one, I would say, obviously a murder story. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> what a better place to find a dead body. I think any story can take place on a Greek island, but I would say if I was to make a story on a Greek island, um, it would probably do a mystery. I guess everything is possible. Uh, why not a thriller? Why not a horror movie? And not only stories about tourists which experiment I don't know what, what is for sure is that it's very photogenic or very cinematic landscapes and um, I guess more shooting should be, should be done in Greek islands in general. And also when you climb around on the island here you can very easily imagine people getting lost in the nature and mysterious things happening. I haven't figured out a precise story because I'm not a writer but I think there's lots of food here for on Nisiros also for new stories that people could find. You know, I don't think there's, there's any limitation, actually. I think it's really just about imagination and perhaps um, intimacy also. I think that, on, especially in a small island, in a, in a village um, or small town community, as well as rural community, there's not much focus put on that these days. Everything is taking place in big cities, which is, of course, where the majority of people now live. Um, or at least it's moving in that direction, I'm not exactly sure. But I think these stories still remain very important and also very accessible. Well, any story can take place on a Greek island depending on the size of the story and the size of the island. Any story? <laughs>